What's up you guys? So today we are going to do something a little more different than what we've been doing. We are still working with home decor because I'm just a little bit obsessed with home decor right now. We'll get to a bag later on, but for now we're gonna work on a leather table. This is something I've been wanting to work on for a while and I decided why not make a leather table with some wood legs and all that good stuff. So before I get into that project, I just wanted to introduce you to this space because as you can see, we are not in my design room. We are actually at Pasadena Lumber, which is based in my hometown of Pasadena, California. My buddy Vince, who I will introduce you to in a second, owns this beautiful place and he is an amazing woodworker. So before we get started with our table, I'm just gonna show you around a little bit and then we'll get started. So it's one thing to work with leather by itself, but if you've ever wanted to incorporate wood into your project, the first thing you wanna figure out is the type of wood to work with. Plywood is the least expensive, whereas something like a Douglas fir would be a little more on the pricier side. Today we'll be using wood scraps for our project and if you've never worked with wood before or you just want to experiment, I would recommend going to your local lumber place and seeing if they have wood scraps available. This is Vincent, he is the owner of Pasadena Lumber and he's the craftsman of all these amazing wood pieces. This wood cabinet being one of them, a lot of the pieces have been used in restaurants, bars, homes, you name it, they can make it, whether it's from illustration, an idea alone, they make everything from scratch here at Pasadena Lumber, and I am literally blown away. Their pieces are impeccable. So until I'm able to work on bigger projects such as that we're going to stick with these little wood legs right here that we're getting cut for our table and we'll build from that so i'm back in my design room i'm going to go ahead and start prepping the leather for the table and today we'll be working with a veg tan from weaver leather it's about five to six ounces and yeah i'll show you that right now so until i have the actual table built and ready to go i cannot do exact measurements for each strip that i will be weaving across the table so right now i'm just going to start with cutting big chunks of leather making sure that i get rid of the rough edges and the pieces that have most of the imperfection i'm just going to start out cutting big chunks so when i do cut them down into smaller strips it'll be easier versus trying to cut from the whole hide itself. So now that I have the wood legs nicely cut out for my table, I can start assembling everything together. I did request for the notches to be included in the wood so that I know exactly where to put my nails. I still had to lay everything out and measure each piece accordingly because I am going off of complete visual. So I have to measure everything and make sure that it's in its proper place before I actually screw the nails in. So as you can see, our table is finally finished. Um, I finished screwing in all the nails and got all the pieces together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stain it a nice white color, off-white, and then apply my finish. In addition to that, we're gonna go ahead and cut our leather strips, which will go along here in a weaving direction. When it comes to adding your leather strips, you wanna measure from the interior of the table going around, as you can see pictured here. As you start nailing your strips into the table, you wanna make sure they're hidden as much as possible. So that's why I'm starting with the interior of the table.
All right, guys, so we're gonna try this color out, this um, white wood stain. I don't know how this is gonna look, but let's just see. And this is the final result. It actually came out really good. I like it a lot. I had to remember that this is a stain that I'm working with, not a paint. So it's not meant to color the wood. It's just meant to give it a nice tint. And I really like the way it came out. It felt like I had to do a thousand different coats, but whatever, it worked out. So now moving on to the leather strips, I'm just laying out everything here. I kind of wanted my leather strips to have a contrast. So on one portion of the table I'm covering the strips in oil just to give them a slightly darker finish than the other natural strips and you'll see that in a second Finally, we're on to the moment that I've been waiting for, which is adding the strips to the table. Now that everything is complete, I can go ahead and nail my strips to the table. As you can see, I'm starting from the interior of the table and I'll be wrapping them around. Once I do one side, I will then move on to the other side and then I'll show you how to weave everything in. So as you can see, one side of the table has a line of leather strips and then the side adjacent has a line of leather strips and that'll give you the weaving effect once I start weaving everything together right here. And pretty much you're going to do every other just to give it that basket weave appeal. And once you finish weaving everything in, you'll do the same thing as far as nailing each piece into the table. And just because this table took forever to make, I had to show you guys the interior. I mean, seriously, look at this. My aunt said it looks manufactured, which as a maker, that is the greatest compliment you can get. So yeah, this is the final result of our table. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and get a chance to make it. It is a little time consuming, but the finished result is so worth it. I really love this table and I hope you guys do too. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you do decide to make it, make sure you also tag We Were Leather and Nikki and Mallory so we can see your project and I will catch you guys on the next one.